Acquire knowledge through visuals. Welcome to Urban O. Familiarize yourself with the key phrases of the 22 basic principles used in plumbing based on the revised National Plumbing Code of the Philippines. Principle number one. All premises intended for human habitation, occupancy, or use shall be provided with a supply of pure and wholesome water, neither connected with unsafe water supplies nor subject to hazards of backflow or back siphonage. Principle number two. Plumbing fixtures, devices, and appurtenances shall be supplied with water in sufficient volume and at pressure adequate to enable them to function satisfactorily and without undue noise under all normal conditions of use. Principle number three. Plumbing shall be designed and adjusted to use the minimum quantity of water consistent with proper performance and cleaning. Principle number four. Devices for heating and storing water shall be so designed and installed as to prevent dangers from explosions through overheating. Principle number five. Every building having plumbing fixtures installed and intended for human habitation, occupancy or use on premises abutting on a street alley or easement where there is a public sewer shall be connected to the sewer system. Principle number six. Each family dwelling unit on premises, abutting on a sewer or with a private sewage disposal system, shall have at least one water closet and one kitchen type sink. Further, a lavatory and bathtub or shower shall be installed to meet the basic requirements of sanitation and personal hygiene. Principle number seven. Plumbing fixtures shall be made of smooth, non-absorbent materials, free from concealed fouling surfaces, and shall be located in ventilated enclosures. Principle number eight. The drainage system shall be designed, constructed, and maintained to safeguard against fouling, deposit of solids, clogging, and with adequate cleanouts, so arranged that the pipes may be readily cleaned. Principle number nine. All pipings of plumbing system shall be of durable non-pop approved materials, free from defective workmanship, designed and constructed by registered master plumbers to ensure satisfactory service. Principle number 10. Each fixture directly connected to the drainage system shall be equipped with a water-sealed trap. Principle number 11. The drainage piping system shall be designed to provide adequate circulation of air free from siphonage, aspiration, or forcing of trap seals under ordinary use. Principle number 12. Vent terminals shall extend to the outer air and installed to preempt clogging and the return of foul air to the building. Principle number 13. Plumbing systems shall be subjected to such test to effectively disclose all leaks and defects in workmanship. Principle number 14. No substance which will clog the pipes, produce explosive mixtures, destroy the pipes or their joints, or interfere unduly with the sewage disposal process shall be allowed to enter the building drainage system. Principle number 15. Proper protection shall be provided to prevent contamination of food, water, sterile goods, and similar materials by backflow of sewage. 
When necessary, the fixture, device, or appliance shall be connected indirectly with the building drainage system. Principle number 16. No water closet shall be located in a room or compartment which is not properly lighted and ventilated. Principle number 17. If water closet or other plumbing fixtures are installed in buildings where there is no sewer within reasonable distance, suitable provision shall be made for disposing of the building sewage by some accepted method of sewage treatment and disposal, such as septic tank. Principle number 18. Where a plumbing drainage system may be subject to backflow of sewage, Suitable provision shall be made to prevent its overflow in the building. Principle number 19. Plumbing system shall be maintained in serviceable condition by registered master plumbers. Principle number 20. All plumbing fixtures shall be installed properly spaced to be accessible for their intended use. Principle number 21. Plumbing shall be installed by registered master plumbers with due regards to the preservation of the strength of structural members and the prevention of damage to walls and other surfaces through fixture usage We are down to the last principle, and that is sewage or other waste from a plumbing system, which may be deleterious to surface or subsurface waters, shall not be discharged into the ground or into any waterway unless first rendered innocuous through subjection to some acceptable form of treatment. Remember the key words and 22 basic principles used in plumbing. Comment below the topic you want to learn next. Don't forget Urban Peeps. Urban O. Cause O, oh, you will never leave our channel empty handed, or should I say empty headed. Subscribe 